So there are actually eight habits, eight things, which are signs that you might have anxiety and you might not actually know these things are signs, but they are. So here are the eight signs. The first one is twirling hair. Now, if you're a girl, this can be kind of also a sign that you're interested, engaged, emotionally stimulated. So uh, let's say if you're a guy and a girl are talking and the girl starts twirling her hair, that can also be a sign that she's not really anxious, but she's kind of interested, flirting in a way, right? But if you're a guy, or if you're not flirting, or if you're a girl and you're not flirting with someone, then twirling your hair could be a sign that you're anxious. Because what it is, you kind of twirl your hair, touch yourself, you know, rub the neck, this kind of thing. It's like a, um, it's known as like a pacifying sign. You're trying to calm yourself down subconsciously, right? Um, and so by doing these things, like touching, and we all do it from time to time, right? Sometimes it's just random or it's comfortable right but if you do it a lot it could be a sign that you're kind of anxious about something even if you're just anxious a little bit uh the second one is kind of the same just if you kind of like pick at your skin if you're like scratching you know this kind of thing um that's also a sign or could be a sign and the other one is a little bit of a debatable one but if you're always kind of fidgeting with things fiddling around with little things that could be a sign but if you be easily distracted or if you find yourself kind of like constantly restless, especially if you have something like ADD, ADHD, um, or if, if you just have a lot of energy, then you might do something like, like for example, me. I, I use this little hand gripper sometimes. So I will kind of be watching something and I'll just be kind of squeezing the hand gripper. So when I say fiddling, I really mean kind of like this nervous fiddling where you're kind of like, jittering something back and forward really fast or you're flicking or making a little like bang tapping noise with something you see this quite often with uh, kids where they just have all this energy and there's nothing wrong with that necessarily but it could be a sign and i want to make sure you understand that these are not like set in stone things they could be signs if you have more than one of them especially the next one is kind of unusual and that is to if you're sleeping too much or too little when everything's fine health wise and mental health wise we usually sleep between eight and eight and a half hours a night. If you're sleeping much less or much more than that, that could be a sign that something's wrong. It might not be that you're anxious, but it's like a good sign that something is not quite right. Being on social media too much. My definition of too much, and of course we all have our own definitions of what is too much for social media. My personal definition is if you're on your phone or on social media more than an hour a day, and even that really is quite high when you when you really stop and think about it. I mean, most people don't even work out for an hour and yet you're going to scroll through social media for two hours. An hour of your time is quite a long and valuable amount of time. That could be a sign that you're anxious because what, what it is really is kind of like this escapism or this kind of numbing of whatever you're feeling inside and thinking inside and numbing it with this dopamine release. You might not know you're doing this, by the way. It might be completely subconscious. Another one is talking too little. So if you find that you, and of course there's people that are shy, people that are introverts, people that simply don't want to talk, right? So again, none of these none of these signs on their own is a set in stone, like you're definitely anxious if you have this sign. Don't you know misunderstand that. But if you find yourself that you're not really talking that much or you're you're holding yourself back in a way that is, you're holding yourself back more than you should or than you normally do, um, especially if it's going off your baseline. So if you're talking less than you usually do, and if people notice that, that could be a subconscious sign that you're you're anxious about something. Maybe you'll think you're stressing without realizing it, stressing about an upcoming exam or I don't know, a new job, friendship, something like that. Next is forgetting things and a general lack of concentration. You see this quite often in the young generation because they are so addicted to their phones, their smartphones, social media, scrolling, TikTok. We've spoken about this before. Um, and the, the lack of focus, the lack of attention is so evident because you will see them even when they're socializing. And I don't want to just pick on young people, okay, because it applies to everyone, really. But you see them kind of, you know, socializing in groups and they'll all be on their phones, scrolling, talking sometimes without looking at the other person. And this is what I find quite funny when you have these people, not just young people, by the way, but people in today's world will be sitting across from each other 
having a full on conversation while they are both on their phones, not even looking at each other. And I'm not saying this is definitely a sign of anxiety. It's definitely a sign that something's not right, because <laughs> if everything was fine, you would be completely present, you know, euphoric in the moment, happy to be alive, if focused on the other person, you know, enjoying that moment. But there's this need for escapism. There's this constant, you know, I need to just do something else. I need to distract myself, numb myself with dopamine from social media. So that's it. That's the science.